What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you a very important video. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier releases in about a few hours at the time of this recording. However, there are a lot of people very excited for this game, including myself, but there are a majority amount of people that aren't very excited because of the fact that it is a mobile title. A few months ago, the Final Fantasy VII First Soldier devs hit us with some solid information about them adding controller support day one for this game. So if you're worried about using touchscreen controls, don't worry, you'll be able to use a controller on this and i'm going to show you guys exactly how you're going to go about connecting it to your mobile device so you can comfortably play this game and destroy and clap as many cheeks as you can right off the bat i'm going to be straight up with you guys i tested out a ps5 controller i tested out an xbox controller and uh, nintendo switch and uh, ps4 controller out of all of those options the ps4 controller honestly works the best the xbox controller has too much of a dead zone that i don't really recommend using it at least how at least it, it felt really bad on cod mobile like you would you, you would move the right stick and the camera would just overcompensate and you'll spin around basically it's so weird the ps5 controller just flat out doesn't work on every single game now it just might work on the first soldier we don't know because it's not out yet but the ps5 controller as of right now it's a little buggy and if you try to use it in cod mobile your character will just keep spinning around and around at least i found that in my experience and the nintendo switch controller it, it feels okay but uh for shooters i don't really recommend it but i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to connect it this is exactly the, how the same way it works on a ps5 uh, controller is how you connect the ps4 controller the playstation button and the share button on the top left uh let me show you guys right here so you see the share button on the ps4 controller right here and you see the ps button right here so you're gonna press the both of these at the same time until you get a uh flashing white light i'm gonna hold it down give it a second okay it should be flashing now yeah okay it's flashing you can't really it's kind of hard to see because of my okay there you go you can see the flashing light right there so now it's in bluetooth pairing mode so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go over to your mobile device which i'm gonna throw on screen right now go over to your mobile device open up bluetooth you're going to scroll down. You're going to see wireless controller under available devices. So we're going to click on that. Give it a second. It's going to ask if you want to pair this device. So we're going to go ahead and hit that button. And uh, after a few seconds, your controller will start uh, turning light up blue. It's actually blue right now. Uh, I don't even know why I'm trying to show you guys that. You can't really see it. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, I'm moving around my phone with uh, controller support. It's pretty funny. It's actually, it's actually really, really interesting that this works the way that it does. But that's how you connect the PlayStation 4 controller to this. Now, it works the same exact way with the PlayStation 5 controller. It just, it's not 100% functional at the moment. Uh, for the Xbox, though, you're going to turn on your Xbox controller so you get your normal light clicking on there. Then you're going to hold the uh, sync button on the top left of the controller. Now your uh, controller is going to start flashing like this. So what you're going to want to do is head over to Bluetooth, scroll down, and you're going to see it'll say Xbox Wireless Controller. Uh, same thing click on it it's gonna ask if you want to pair it no biggie and it works it works fine it's just honestly for you know shooters it's not comfortable with the dead zone on the analog stick it just feels it just feels really unnatural i don't recommend it but if you have a ps4 controller laying around definitely definitely that's the option you're gonna want to go towards all right so that's how you do an xbox controller now for the nintendo switch pro controller what you're gonna want to do is same deal as like with the xbox controller they have a sync button on the top left here a really really tiny button you're gonna hold it down until you get uh this green flashing light at the bottom there okay there you go so that's on and active we're gonna go into bluetooth again roll down and you can see it says pro controller is available so click on pro controller same deal pair uh keep forgetting that uh confirm for the uh, pro controllers on the a button so basically it works the same exact way if you have all of these options available at your disposal i highly recommend just messing around with all of them and seeing which one works the best for you in my experience the ps4 controller works flawlessly unfortunately the ps5 still has some kinks it needs to work out but it's okay i mean the ps4 controller works really good and if you're used to that then you're gonna have a great time you're gonna enjoy yourself we're gonna go here and we're gonna click on uh we're gonna click on Call of Duty and maybe run through a game really quick. I'm pretty sure they're gonna put me with bots or, or maybe not. I mean, somebody on the other team's name is Fat Cabbage. Doesn't really seem like a bot name, right? Okay, now we're in the game. We're gonna see how this thing works out and how it, it's really comfortable. I can't lie, guys. Like, uh, obviously you're gonna control, you're gonna change it up to your, uh, your preferences, but dude, it feels pretty damn good. I'm gonna run over here. We're just gonna, we're not gonna ignore objectives in Dom. 
just run straight over to start some fights. All right, let's try that long range shot. All right, not the best right there. It still it does still have a little bit of a curve to get used to. But overall, trust me, out of all the options, this feels the best. Somebody behind me? Yep. Get on him. Get on him. We got a bunch of streaks. Where y'all at? Honestly, if first soldier feels this fluid, guys, it's gonna be <laughs> you know, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have an amazing time. Oh, let's use some death machine. And that wraps it up for this video, guys. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier releases tonight, November 17th at 3 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, super late. I'll probably be on playing it, though. Uh, maybe streaming it. I don't know. I'll see. We'll see. Well, I mean, I, I want to enjoy myself with the game as well and play with you guys. But we do have a 24-hour stream, which is crazy, planned for this game. So I'm hoping that the servers are going to be running smooth. And maybe Wednesday afternoon or Thursday, we could get that started and have a great time all together. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy VII First Soldier videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.